It may not be our favorite set, but it's complete. Our Scarlet Violet Master Set, coming to you now. And just like on our last couple of sets, we are using the Special Edition Voltex Scarlet Violet Binder. Pretty in purple. With that reddish orange inseam. And for the sleeves, we have Purple Matte Dragon Shield. Five boxes. Getting into this binder, starting off Scarlet and Violet. Let's see, always starting with the grass type Pokemon. Gotta love the new reverse hollows in this generation. Yes, I love the patterns. We finally got some excitement. Some very good excitement. And our first EX in the Spide Ops EX right there. Big troll for hit cards as far as those go, but cool card anyway. We move on to the fire. Not too many fire in this set, really. But we have the Arcanine EX, the terrestrialized pretty little doggo right there. And then starting our water, we have the Slowpoke. And our other terrestrialized Pokemon of the set, the Gyarados EX, and you'll see more pretty cards of that later on in the binder. We have our first exclusive right here in the Quaxly Hollow right there. So it's got a non-holo, a holo, and a reverse holo. And then its evolutionary line also has an exclusive in the non-holo right there. Okay, and finishing up with the water, we start with our electric Pokemon, and then we hit this Magnezone EX down here. Moving on, more electric, more electric, all the electricities. There's like a million different Palmies. So really cute. That was, you know, fun to try and organize the binder. Make sure you have all of those. And the Violet Legendary right here, we have Moridon EX, a very playable card starting off this era. Keep going into the Psychic type Pokemon. We have Gardevoir EX, another very playable card. Very pretty. And Banette EX Spooky. right there. Okay, and still with the Psychics. And there's uh, a lot of Flittles in this set as well. So a couple different Fido arts. We have a couple different Flittle arts. And then we move on to the Espathra, little Queen Cleopatra there, looks like. And we get into some Dalgos right there, the Grievard and the Houndstone. Start our fighting type Pokemon and Primate finally got an evolution in Gen 9 to Annihilate right there. As we keep going, we still have fighting type Pokemon right here. Very nice clay stone journal. Yay, clay! Then we have our Great Tusk EX and our Scarlet exclusive, the Coridon EX right there. And moving on, we hit our dark Pokemon. So we've got the Toxicroak EX here, and we've got more doggos. There's there's a lot of doggos in this set. Lot of doggos. So Mashiv, Mabostiff, and then we got the Bombardier. And then we'll hit our steel types with Fortress and Baroom, starting those off. And as you can see, we're still going. This set is very, very big. We have the Iron Treads EX right here. That's a Violet Pokemon exclusive. And then we get into our normal type or colorless type Pokemon. And, and then the million and millions of Lechonks. There are so many pigs in this set. <laughs> the Lechonk page. And each pig has an exclusive and some of them even have two so we have the GameStop exclusive right there we have the Pokemon Center Lechonk right there we have the Scarlet and Violet stamp Lechonk right there and there's one more in the back yeah we already we already set the binder up so we didn't want to move all the Lechonks you'll see why <laughs> yeah, this set is huge and then we've got um Oinkalone EX here looking like a sad little piggy I don't know why Keep going, now we're into our trainer cards. Not a lot to see here, a lot of very playable cards, but very playable exciting cards wise, nothing set. too crazy, nothing too great. You'll see a mirror in here in a little bit. <laughs> the one we all really wanna see. Still going, we got two professors research in the set and actually Sada actually gets three with her deck exclusive right there and Turo got left behind. Oh. And as we come to the end, the pages line up very nicely, ending with Youngster right here. And this is what everyone has come to see. The back of the binder. So we have our Tarantula, which is the bottom half of Spide Ops. the Spide Ops card. And I was kind of disappointed that they didn't actually fit together in the binder. I would have liked to have them on top of each other, but it didn't work out that way. Anywho. So Dolliv, we've got Toad School, very colorful, Scovillain, some angry roasted peppers here. It looks like they're sitting at a bar. And we've got Armor Rouge, this adorable little slowpoke. Love this from the second I saw the artwork on it. Clauncher, Wiglet, very cute, looking like he's reaching up through the waves. And this Dondozo, which is like this majestic beast leaping out of the water. 
and cute little Pachirisu and Pomot, and then Drowsy asleep at the fair. I'm not sure what happened. It looks like it's an abandoned fair. Yes, it does, but the spotlight is on him. And then we have our Ralts and our Curlia, the first of our evolutionary line Pokemon artworks, which is very, very cool that they're starting to do that. Very awesome. You have Fido looking at itself in the window. Then you have our Grievar laying on a ghostly hat right there, which All is pretty cool. All kinds of ghosties making a guest appearance there too. Yep. You got the Ghastly and the Game You have Bar. the little child Riolu who uh, tore stuff up while he parents were out at the store if you got a toddler is, you know how this feels and now he's in trouble and he's definitely got that look like uh oh <laughs> sorry mom and dad you got sandal looking for its next bite to eat don't walk through that quick sand uh -uh. you got cloth the sand crab right there or the mountain crab how the claw mabastiff sitting under the table waiting for arvin to make him a sandwich very cute he looks so sad kind of looks like a guinea pig right there too kind of does yeah with the little nose yeah you have bombardier down there in the bottom corner uh just flying around all majestically holding its neck it looks like it's a stork it's gonna deliver a baby maybe you have the king gambit the king of the chessboard with his bishops right beside him and the pawns in front of him. Very, very cool artwork right there. You got Starly and or Starlies sitting in the tree. Hmm. And you got Spovit laying on the couch. Very cute. And then we start uh, with our Spidops EX full art. We've got the Arcanine and Gyarados EX full art terrestrialized versions. And those were very rare, very hard yes. to do. Yes, yeah, those, those did not come easily. Then Magnazone, Maridon EX, very pretty card, and this beautiful Gardevoir EX. Banette, we've got Great Tusk EX, the Coridon, Toxicroak, Iron Treads, and this um, looking a little more majestic than the other EX, but the full art Oinkalone. So they gave us a full page of full art Pokemon, which is kind of cool that they did that. And now we're on to the full art trainer. So you got Arvin on an adventure, you got Jacques studying because he's a professor. You got Katie, don't know what she's doing, just looking pretty, I guess. And mm -hmm. you got Miriam, she's probably confused and doesn't know where she is. She looks like she's confused. You have Penny, and it looks like she's got a million books in her Eevee backpack, and uh, it's weighing her down. You got Professor Sada, Professor's Research, Professor Turo, Professor's Research, and then you have Team Star Grunt to round off the full art trainers. Starting off on our first SIR Secret Illustrator Rare Pokemon. We have the Spidops EX, and like Cheney said, that's the top half of the Tarantula. The Scyther is cut in half, and it would have been kind of cool if they would have been in the binder next to on top on of top each of other. Each other. Yeah. Oh well. That's yeah, too much to ask for. At least we got a full page of full arts. We gotta keep our uh, request to a minimum, I guess. And then we have our Maridon EX here. Very cool card. And this one was pretty hard to pull too. Didn't see too many of these. I think just the one. Um, and then we have the final evolution of the Ralts line, the Gardevoir here. And I love, this is such a cool idea as you see him go from like, you know, toddler to teen to, you know, adult. I think that's the story they're telling, which is great. And then the Great Tusk EX, looking like he's in a sandstorm. And already onto the last page, we have the Coridon EX in the middle of the forest. You have Iron Treads also in the desert, but it looks like it's nighttime and there's no sandstorm going on. Huh? And that's it, all the Pokemon. We have four SIR trainer cards, Arvin, and like I said, that's the top half of the Mabasif. So the Mabasif would be right over here, laying down, waiting for him to make his dang lunch. Hmm. You have Jacques who's done studying and has passed out windows open and all sun's up maybe he just had a really late night you have miriam over here this the chase card of the set for most people it's a very beautiful card and you have to see it in person because that'll do it the justice that it deserves she's over there tripping falling out of her own shadow and dropping her books all over the floor you have penny who looks like she's contemplating life right there a little depressed <laughs> with the sun shining through the windows looks like it's either sunrise possibly sunset sunrise sunset all right and then we have our first gold with the maridon ex followed by the coridon ex really cool cards i like those and then the nest ball rare candy and we have two energies in the sets we have the electric and the fighting and that ends the set but wait we left some promos in the back for you so you have the maridon that come out of the ETB, and you have the Pokemon Center stamped one that came out of Pokemon Center ETB. Coridon, exact same thing. This one, the ETB regular, and that's the Pokemon Center ETB. And there was one more LeChonk sta stamped promo, the Scarlet and Violet right there, but because it, the set lined up so perfectly and ended <laughs> so perfectly, 
We which, didn't want to move it. Exactly. We I didn't want to move it. Back. Yeah. And believe it or not, this set is so big, it takes up a 480 card binder and there is only one page left. Last page. Close that book. Tell us in the comments below why Slowpoke was your favorite card of the set. And if it wasn't Slowpoke, tell us which one it was and why. And if you like watching our Master Set videos, watch this one next. <laughs>